at the police grounds today for the fifth annual Run for Their Lives charity run. So let's go and see what this is all about. So I have here with me Dilara Lielagama, who is in the organizing committee of Run for Their Lives. Let's ask her how the run, how the turnout of the run has been so far. The turnout has been really good, Chanali. It's actually much more than last year's, and we're really happy with the enthusiasm and the support people have shown. So, what exciting things do you all plan, have planned this year? Well, we have a lot of games. Uh, after the run, there's going to be a mini carnival. So there are some uh, water rides there. There's a bouncer there for kids, and these are general carnival games. And we also have this thing called the most wanted list where the mayor need, will need some people from our club who are most wanted and if you find them you get free tokens. Okay, okay thank you so much Dara. And I have here with me Kasun Yatavara from the organizing committee and I'm going to ask him what exactly is RFTL all about? Well, RFTL is all about giving back to the society as uh, RFTL has been successful right throughout and it's been organized by the Rotary Club of Colombo Uptown. Uh, there's a lot of behind this event and uh, the entire club comes together to donate funds to the Maharagama National Cancer Institute. So I'm really happy to say that we have uh, exceeded 6 million rupees in terms of donations and uh, it's quite good and we keep enjoying. Okay, thank you so much Kasun. Thank you. And I have with me now a participant from the run, Yoshita Kulatunga. So let's ask her, why are you running this year? Um, this is the third time I'm taking part of this and um, it, it's for a good cause. So initially when they started, I think it was not this big, but uh, they actually raised a lot of money and they built uh, what they wanted to build. And so the second time they built something much more uh, bigger than that. So I think uh, it's, a, it's something that needs to keep going because they will be uh, adding on parts to the initial cause. And um, I'm here with uh, a tune uh, from MS. So the actually a tune is uh, sponsoring all the employees who's taking part of this. So there's about 40 of us. And uh, yeah, might run, might finish, but we'll walk. But yeah, something. Let's hope so. Okay, thank you, Yoshida. With me here, I have a few participants who are taking part in the run. Let's ask them a few questions. Is this your first time taking part? Yeah, it is. Okay, so what do you think of the event so far? I know it's just started, but so far, what do you think of it? Uh, personally, I actually thought this was a bit of a smaller turnout that I imagined. I thought there would be like a lot of, like the whole ground would be covered and you know, we wouldn't be able to get in. But when it came here, there were not much people, but now I see it's uh, filling up and it's, yeah, it's doing all right now. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think of the cause that this run is sponsoring, what they stand up for? Well, I think that it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really good cause that they're doing this for, yeah? And uh, I think uh, for a fact that there, there should have been a better turnout and that the, the fact that there isn't is a bit sad, I think. Okay, okay. Uh, so do you guys hope to maybe run next year? Yeah, definitely, we're looking forward to it already. Yeah. Are you excited for the Are you actually gonna run or are you just gonna walk? Yeah, we're gonna run. yeah we are planning on running, yes. Okay. That's good, thank you. So I have another participant for Run For Their Lives, Yasin Khan, who has actually brought a whole group of his friends to take part in the run. So let's ask him what he thinks of the cause. I think it's a great cause. I mean, it's, it's really good to see like the youth really taking initiatives like this. We need more events like this and we are really excited and we always do this every year. So yeah, it's, I think it's a great cause. So this is not your first time running, is it? No. What do you think of the turnout this year compared to other years? Uh, well, I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's been improving every year. Like since the first year, I think there's been a massive improvement easily. Thank you, Yasin. And with me here, I have two very special people, Eugene Selvin and Danush Kapereira, who actually cycled 1,400 kilometers across the country to support this special cause. We must speak to them and let's ask them how it was cycling 1,400 kilometers. I can't even imagine. How was it? It was hard. <laughs> yeah? yeah. So how long did it take? It took us about 11 days to do that. Uh, 1,400 kilometers in exactly 11 days. We planned it to be around 15 days, but we managed to do it in 11 days. Okay, so why exactly did you all think that you all want to take this up? I mean, every weekend we used to cycle like 100 kilometers. So we thought, okay, why not do this for a good cause, for charity? So we just discussed with the article team and we said, okay, we said, okay, we'll go right around Sri Lanka and we collect charity and we'll give it to them. So, so it, for us, we did it for the adventure and uh, also for the funds. So it's 
two weddings. Okay, so I'm imagining it was a lot of fun, was yeah, it? Of course, yes. Yeah. Will you be doing it next year as well? Yeah, definitely. We are planning something big next year. Okay. So fingers crossed, hopefully we can make it. So have you all recovered from the stress of cycling 1,400 kilometers? I'm sorry? Have you all recovered from cycling 1,400 <laughs> kilometers? Yeah, we actually did it last month. So okay. four weeks is more than enough. So okay. we are for another challenge maybe next Are month. you going to run today as well? Uh, not really. We are going to get back to work. So probably next time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. In just a few minutes, the run is about to begin. So let's hope for a very successful run. And we'll be here till the end to see who the winners are. And here with us we have the president of Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts, Mr. Ajit Gunavardhana, who has also taken part in the run. So Mr. Ajit, what do you think of the runs this year? Excellent. I mean, for me it was a very productive way to spend my Saturday evening instead of sleeping after a couple of beers. Okay. Uh, so firstly I would like to uh, congratulate the Rotary Club of Colombo Uptown for being very creative and very innovative in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of raising money for a, what I consider a very worthwhile cause. So I was very pleased to sort of participate in this with the team of Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. The creative nature of this appeal to us, because we too are creative in what we do, and we, we truly enjoyed ourselves, and we would be very happy to support this event even in the future. Okay. So was this your first time taking part? Yeah, my, my first time taking part. Some of the other team members have done it before. They twisted my arm, uh, challenging me, telling me that I to, to see whether I would be fit enough to do the run. Okay. Well, I did the run, oh. I did, <laughs> and I didn't get into a tuk-tuk. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. And we have a very special participant who actually ran. Well, actually, he's asleep right now, but his father carried him and ran. What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Dylan. So, did, what's, what's the little one's name? Uh, his name is Caleb. Caleb. Okay. So, was he awake during the run? Uh, well, he was uh, halfway, and then he decided he's going to sleep. So, okay. yeah, so now he's asleep. <laughs> have you been running often, or this is your first time? Uh, well, I do run for, well, for the, this is the first time that we're running. So, we thought, you know what, it's a good, it's a good cause. So, you know what, why not start early? <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi Roshan, how are you? I'm good. I think uh, it's a lovely evening, but unfortunately I couldn't take part in the run, so I'm a little worried about that. You've actually put on a little bit. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so to start the award ceremony, can we have everyone here to see the winners of RFTL 2014? And of course, Pooja and Roshan too. And yes, first and foremost, a huge round of applause to all those contestants, all those participants who have come here, shown their support to the Mahagama Cancer Institute. It's been a great course and without you, it would have been nothing. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. In first place, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ashwin Muramagama! <laughs> all right, Ashwin, how does it feel like to be the winner of RFTL 2014? Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good, that's all. It was exciting. What's the message you have to all the pretty girls out there? <laughs> Keep looking good. Alright. <laughs> How about that? So Ashwin, you've done. You completed this run in a mind-boggling 17 minutes and 38 seconds. Kudos to you and you too will be getting a gift pack by Unilever, courtesy of uh, a love sample rather, courtesy of love gas. At Saya Resorts Bars, you can stake the special someone at Safe for Two and a bad sign by the Sri Lankan cricket team and also another mug that we will be presenting to you. Go ahead and collect it from these guys over here on stage.
And ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner of RFTA 2014, Ashwin Dornagama, with me today. You look really excited. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah? Have you been training for no, this? Nothing. Nothing at all, is it? So are you a sportsman? Yeah, I swim. Okay. And I run for fun, like, whenever I want to. Okay, so were you expecting to win or was this just, this just surprised you? Not expecting, but it was a bit of a shock, yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Ashwin. Thank you so much. And in first place, this category RFTL 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Navarta. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's the wrong name. I'm reading out some other name. Put your hands together for Zayed Nomad. Hi Zayed, you got a heart attack for a split second, didn't you? <laughs> Hi Zayed, how are you? All right, very good. Which, from which country are you? U.S. Have you been here for a long time and what do you do here? I, I've been here for a year and I work for USA. USA, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause Yay! for this lovely lady who came in first and stealing the first place of RFTL 2014. You can go ahead and take your gifts, go to see Unilever. Secret Hotels, a teddy bear, a bat signed by the Sri Lankan cricket team, and of course, another token of appreciation from the Road Track Club, the Road Track Club of Colombo Uptown. We can hold on with the gifts for, so that we can get the final photograph of the first place. Can we take a huge photo? This, you might actually drop this. Let's pose for the photograph. Headline news tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the winner of the women's category of RFTL 2014, Jeanette Norman here with us. So Jeanette, what do you think of the turnout this year? Fabulous. I was really pleased with the weather and the crowd and the ambiance. It was a really great day. My, my second race here in Sri Lanka, so I was, I'm very pleased. <laughs> so have you been training for this formally or not really? Not formally, no. I, we live uh, not far from here on Park Road, so I just run inside the cricket field um, to burn off steam. So, uh, yeah, and I have a little baby, so I like to take him outside with me to get some fresh air. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Round for Their Lives 2014 has officially ended, but we also have a carnival going on after the show, so I'm sure it's going to be heaps of fun. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. I'm Shanali Silva for Life Online.